Assalamu alaikum everybody. Uh, today's video is from uh, the topic errors and suspense and this question basically appeared in May June 2024 paper 2 variant 2 question number 3. My students gave this paper uh, this this session May June 2024. So uh, the question here says Akil uh, prepared his trial balance at 29th February 2024. The total of the debit side was 83,640 and the total of the credit side was 84,025. That means the difference between both the sides is 385 and the, the difference in trial balance uh, will come on the debit side of the suspense account in this case because the debit side is lighter and the credit side is heavier. So basically whatever side is lighter, uh, th that place you get your difference in trial balance that is the debit side in this case because debit side is lighter. They are then saying here, so what you know already is that there is a difference in the trial balance on both the sides. The totals of the trial balance don't agree in this case. So we know that in the errors also, you will have to use the suspense account in order to correct the errors. Uh, because uh, there are two types of errors in accounting. One is that errors, uh, those errors which don't affect the trial balance and then th th those errors which affect the trial balance. And because the trial balance is not balancing, we know that there are certain errors which which uh, has affected the balancing of the trial balance. Therefore, we will need suspense account in order to correct the errors. Uh, they're, uh, they're then saying here, Akil later discovered the following errors. Uh, then they're saying here, the total of the sales journal for January 2024, 3416 had been credited to the sales returns account. And they have given you five errors in this case, which we will be doing in a bit. But if you look at the required here, the first two parts of part A, they say state which business documents, uh, which, which business document shows when the direct debit for insurance is was paid. Uh, so uh, you guys should know that the business document here will be bank statement. Why will it be bank statement? Because direct debit is an automatic payment that the bank makes on the behalf of the business. Uh, so if the bank is making a payment, uh, there is no check going from my side. There is no, um, uh, there is nothing that you can, uh, you don't have any proof of this uh, transaction except the bank statement because we are not giving any check in this case. Uh, the bank is making the payment automatically for insurance, which again will be shown on the bank statement only. And direct debit, even standing order and credit transfers are shown on the bank statement. Okay, the next part here says the next uh, part two of part A, which of the errors listed in one to five is an error of principle. So what is an error of principle? An error of principle is simply uh, when the class of account is wrong and the account itself is also wrong. So let's say there is uh, some non-current asset that we have purchased or some payment for non-current asset, but we have written that in the expense account. So if you look at error number four here, a payment of for office equipment $52 had been debited to the stationery account. So stationery is an expense and office equipment is a non-current asset. So the class of account itself is different. Also the account is wrong. So uh, we had to debit the office equipment account but we debited the stationery account in error and both the, both the accounts are from different classes. One is non-current asset and the other is expense. So this error is basically error of principle. So you will write here error number four. You'll write here error number four. Okay, in part B of this uh, question, you have to also, um, you're required to basically correct all these errors. Uh, they have said one to three only, but I will correct all the errors uh, so that you know, this will be of good help for you guys. Uh, how to correct the errors. So error number one, the total of the sales journal for January 2024, 3416 had been credited to the sales returns account. So sales is when you, when you are making credit sales, you record that in the sales journal. Now this total is posted to the sales account. It's not posted to the sales returns account, but we have incorrectly posted it to the sales returns account and that too on the credit side. So what I'll do here is that to remove it from the sales returns account, I will debit the sales returns account here. Uh, this will be 3416 and I will have to credit the sales account in order to record it in the sales account. Also 
whenever you want to record revenue or whenever you record when you whenever you want to record sales or whenever you want to record revenue uh, that is sales revenue and sales is the same thing so that is basically always credited so because we did not record sales in this case we'll have to credit the sales account and we'll debit the sales returns account in order to remove the error from the sales returns account because if you have written it on the credit side of the sales returns account when you debit it once the error is removed from the sales returns account the second error here the direct a direct debit for insurance that is a payment 115 had been credited to both bank account and the insurance account so the whenever you are paying for an expense the double entry that that is the correct double entry is insurance account debit and the bank account should be credited but what we have done is that we have credited both the accounts we have credited the insurance account and we have credited the bank account so bank account we have correctly credited but we shouldn't have credited the insurance account we should have debited the insurance account so insurance on the credit side we have written 115 so once when we debit it we will remove the error on the credit side and again we will debit the insurance account in order to record insurance uh, on the debit side so we'll have basically debit the insurance account so i'll write here insurance and i'll write here 230 on the debit side and we will credit the suspense account and i will write here 230 and this is error number 2 error number 2 is basically insurance debit 230 and suspense credit 230 uh because i don't have anything on the credit side so i need to credit the suspense account in order to um correct this entry uh and uh, we already credited the bank account which was correctly credited so we are now going to credit the suspense account the third error here says discount allowed 47 had been credited to the account of discount received so discount allowed is an expense and if you record this in the discount received account so that means uh, we have wrongly credited to uh, credited it to the discount received account so i will simply debit the discount received account so i'll write here discount received debit i'll write here 47 I will have to record the discount allowed because this expense wasn't recorded. So I did not record the expense of discount allowed on the debit side of the discount allowed account. Expenses whenever you want to record an expense you need to debit the expense account. So I'll write here discount allowed. I'll write here 47 and then suspense will be credited and suspense will be credited by uh, 47 plus 47 which will which will be 94. Okay the next error here says a payment for office equipment that is a non current asset $52 had been debited to the stationery account so you need to remove it from the stationery account and simply uh credit the stationery account here because to remove from an expense account you need to credit that account so this was 52 and record it in the office equipment account because this payment was for office equipment it was not for stationery so you remove from the stationery account and you record it in the office equipment account this is error number 4 okay error number 5 says uh, the purchases journal for february 2024 had been overcast by 90 dollars that means we have um we have uh, written a a bigger number in the purchases account by 90 dollars so that means we have overstated purchases uh overcast means also also means overstated so 90 doll by 90 dollars we have overstated the the purchases account so what we'll do is that purchases are normally debited so that means we have uh, recorded a 90 extra on the debit side of the purchases account so i'll simply credit purchases here because i need to remove this 90 dollar extra from the purchases account and i will debit suspense here so debit suspense credit purchases this is the correction of error number 5 you we were just required to correct error number 1 and 2 and 3 1 2 and 3 um but i also corrected 4 and 5 for you guys so that it helps you also in the next part they are asking you to prepare a suspense account so simply i look at i look at my double entries and i will simply highlight wherever suspense is coming so suspense is coming on the credit side of the second correction and the credit side of the third correction and then the debit side of the fifth correction here and um i will start with the difference in trial balance which i calculated at the start of the question which was 385 and the debit side was basically uh, lighter so i have to write my difference in trial balance here on the debit side i'll write here difference in trial balance and this will be 385 and i'll simply record 
uh, those entries in which we have suspense so for the second entry suspense is being credited so I'll write it on the credit side of the suspense account I'll write here insurance so in the insurance account on the debit side we'll write suspense in the suspense account on the credit side I'll write insurance here and this amount will be $230 uh, for the next one for the third one again discount received and discount allowed is being debited suspense is being credited so I'll simply write here discount received and I'll write here $47 I'll write here discount allowed I'll write here $47 and then this will also be recorded in the suspense account and for the fifth error suspense is being debited by 90 and purchases being credited by 90 so uh, basically we have credited the purchase account debited the suspense account so in the suspense account I'll record this on the debit side I'll write here purchases I'll write here $90 and that's it so I've recorded all the entries in my suspense account also one more thing uh, look at part C they are saying state why a balance may remain on a suspense account after errors 1 to 5 have been corrected so indirectly they are telling you there will be a balance remaining in the end uh, in the suspense account and it's true also when I'll balance the suspense account then you'll know there is a balance in the suspense account because all errors might not have been found so you guys have to write that uh, there is a balance in the suspense account because all errors might not have been found or corrected so there is a balance in the suspense account because all errors have not been found or corrected so yes that's for one mark in the next part yes in the suspense account now I, now I have to calculate the balance so the debit side of the suspense account is 385 plus 90 and the credit side is 230 plus 47 plus 47 so the balance carry down will come out to be 151 debit side is heavier and credit side is lighter so I'll write here balance carried down I'll write here 151 151 is my balance carried down this account will balance at what is the total here the total here is 475 on both sides 475 this balance carry down I need to make my balance brought down they are they have written in the question prepare the suspense account bring down any remaining balance at 1st March 2024 they are telling you that there will be a balance remaining on 1st March 2024 I'll write here balance brought down I will write here this is going to be uh, 151 and the date for which uh, we are correcting all the errors we can write 28th February 28th February because before um, to 2024 uh, because before like before March there's February so February end is when we are actually correcting the errors and then uh, the balance comes down on 1st March 2024 okay the next part they're saying Akil's draft profit for the year before correction of errors was 17,420 calculate Akil's profit after items 1 to 5 have been corrected so I will use some colors here so let me change my highlighter so I'll use a green and I will show you what errors what error corrections are actually going to affect profit so if you guys know the income statement and I am expecting that you guys already know the income statement really well so there's sales returns in the income statement yes there's sales in the income statement yes so all the income statement accounts basically are going to affect your profit so uh, sales returns yes sales returns is going to affect my profit so I'll write highlight sales returns I'll highlight sales both are going to affect my profit so um, yes I need to record them uh, when I'm correcting my uh, profit insurance is going to affect my profit yes discount allowed discount received is going to affect my profit yes because discount uh, received is an income discount allowed is an expense both are income statement uh, accounts office equipment is not an income statement account because office equipment is a non-current asset but stationery is an income statement account $52 yes stationery is an expense also purchases is an income statement account because purchases is part of cost of sales so what I need to do is that I need to calculate my corrected profit which I will do very simply uh, I will start with 17,420 which is my draft profit so I'll write here draft profit okay then what I'm going to do is that sales returns when you debit sales returns that's when you are increasing sales returns because sales returns is debited whenever it is increased whenever it is recorded you de you debit sales returns and here because we are debiting sales returns we are increasing sales returns sales returns is something that is subtracted from revenue which means that 
if you are subtracting a bigger amount of sales returns that means your net sales will go down which means your profit will go down so i need to subtract 3 4 1 6 from this so i'll write here sales returns and i'll subtract that if i'm crediting the sales crediting sales means that i'm increasing my revenue by 3 4 1 6 and that is going to increase my profit so if i if i credit sales that means if I'm crediting sales in my entries, that means I am increasing the revenue amount, which means my profit should increase. So I'll just add 3, 4, 1, 6 here. So I'll write here 3, 4, 1, 6. I'll write here sales. Okay. Um, insurance. If I'm debiting insurance, that means my expense is increasing. If my expense is increasing, my profit is going to go down. So I'm going to subtract 230 from here. So I'll write here 230 and I'll subtract that. I'll write here insurance. Okay, in the next entry, I am debiting the discount received, which means I am decreasing my income. Discount received is normally credited. If I'm debiting the discount received, so that means I'm decreasing my income, that therefore my profit will decrease because of this. So I will simply, my profit therefore will decrease because of this. So I will simply subtract the item that is 47 for discount received. I'll write here discount received. And then there is this thing, I'm also debiting discount allowed, which means I'm increasing my expenses. That is also going to decrease my profit because uh, expenses are normally debited. And whenever you, you're debiting an expense, you're increasing an expense that is going to decrease your profit. So I will simply uh, subtract discount allowed from here. I will write here 47 and I will subtract discount allowed. Okay, the next entry here, stationary I'm crediting. That means I'm decreasing the expense because stationery is an expense account. Expenses are normally debited. Whenever expenses are increased, they are debited. If an expense is being credited, that means the expense is decreasing, which means the profit should increase. So I will just add 52 here. So I'll write here 52 and I'll write here stationery. And then the last thing here, I'm crediting purchases. When you credit purchases, normally you debit purchases whenever you're increasing purchases. If you're crediting purchases, that means you're decreasing purchases. Decreasing purchases means your cost of sales will go down because of which your profit should increase. So I'll write here 90, I will add it. So I'll simply add 90 here, I'll write here purchases. And now I will calculate my corrected profit. So this, both of this is not going to affect because minus 3416 plus 3416, we all know math, this is going to be zero. Uh, then you subtract 230, subtract 47, subtract 47, add 52, add 90. Uh, what you get here is 17,238. This is my corrected profit. I will write here corrected profit. And this is going to be my corrected profit. And that's it for this question. This was very, very simple. Uh, if you guys know the error corrections also very very important thing to note here is that this is the most often repeated question in all the exams so we have an errors and, errors and suspense question in every exam if you guys observe the recent trends you will find a question on errors and suspense in every paper every year and every variant as well uh, so thank you so much guys hope this helps you uh, thank you so much for watching